Greg Vaughn in the studio. It's Tuesday. Well, it's Tuesday right now. Right now it is Tuesday. If you download this later, it could be tomorrow or Friday or Thursday or whatever. <laughs> I forget that part of this, that we, we put these up online and uh, people can download these these segments whenever they want. Uh, but Lehman Wall and Casey Hooper from the Working Ranch Cowboys Association are in the studio. And we missed last week and I know there was a, a rodeo last weekend. And so we're actually doing a little catch up, aren't we? Yes, sir. Yeah, we get to talk a little Fort Sumner. Sumner. Fort Sumner Ranch. Rodeo Did y'all make it out to that one? That's not yeah. that's not too horrible of a drive, or anything. it's not like one of the seven hour drives. Or no, it's it's a really easy drive. I made it over there. Good, it's a good rodeo, good crowd. Yeah, you know they're in conjunction with Fort uh, Old Fort Days. Oh yeah, over there yeah. In Fort oh, and they do that at the same time. Yeah, oh, so neat. there's all I kind of cool stuff going on. Yeah. You know, little town parade. Yeah, yeah, seeing all the kids riding around on their yeah. horses and having a good time. And yeah. uh, I got to tell you, before we get into the results, I was over there. Friday afternoon before everything got started. And Carrie Henry, the young lady that her and her husband are kind of the ringleaders of, the, of that deal. Right. They said, hey, if you're going to be, you know, around tomorrow afternoon, you need to go watch the Tombstone race. <laughs> I was like, okay, what in the world's <laughs> going on here? It's no seriously over at the high school. Got to go check it out. So I did. I showed up. And man, this is a big time deal. It's like the Olympics in Fort Sumner. Billy the Kid was over there. Right. And people had stolen his tombstone a couple of times. So a guy came up with this cool idea. You know, well, let's have a tombstone race, kind of mimicking, you know, grabbing the tombstone right. and running off with it. So you literally have to run and go over these big, they're not hurdles. They're more like small mountains. Right. I mean, these people have to jump over these things. The guys have to carry an 80 pound tombstone, tombstone. <laughs> in this race. And the girls, I, I think there's just like 20 or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> 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 but boom, boom. Sorry, I, you I, missed that off mic there. She said, I bet they're dying at the ladies end. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Casey Hooper. She'll be here all night. No, I just got to thinking about that. Did you see Billy the Kid? I mean, he's still alive. Oh, yeah, we talked. We, we had coffee. Yeah. With Elvis? <laughs> but it, it, it was just a cool deal. A, a so. nice event. Families gathered up. Probably a lot of reunions going right, on in the right. community. And so the, the rodeo went very well, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about those results. They've got a nice committee over there that works yeah. really hard. Thank them for all of their hard work, and uh, it, it's a neat area. The Cowboys kind of, there's not much hotel access yeah, in town, yeah. so the guys pitch their TPs and kind of hang out, uh, get to see all their friends. They don't get to see it all that often. Right. But, the the team that is going to get the invite or did get the invite to come to the world championship, they won Fort Sumner is uh, Trip Townsend and his crew from Sand Hill Cattle Company Ooh. down in Earth. Uh, Earth. Th- they um, have a pretty good track record of being pretty hard to beat. So they're going to get to come back to the world championship again this year. Now, how'd they do? Yeah. They uh, again? They dominate or anything, or it was the same as the pattern's been. They got a couple of good finishes, and then they held strong in all the other categories. Kind yeah, of. You, you know, Casey has talked a little bit to us about how when you got a two-go rodeo, when you see Friday night, you're thinking, okay, I kind of see how this is going to shake right. out. You know, but then here comes Saturday, and things start to move, and it was a really close race happening throughout the entire rodeo but as it started to shake out sandhill did end up and and win two of the five events they were uh, second in another and third in another so it was a pretty dominant performance when it was all said and done trip is on the phone now trip uh you're on with lehman casey and and, and me craig <laughs> welcome to the the disorganization. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Trip. we've kind of done this a few times here with our different ranch rodeos we've had, and it's always interesting to look at the times and scores and the results and kind of see how everything comes together. And, you know, in a few cases up till now, we've had some uh, ranches win that, you know, did kind of middle of the road in almost everything. And, you know, may not have won any particular event, but just were very consistent. And then here you guys come in, you got a third, two first, and a second. And so you pretty much, your consistency was, you just pretty much cleaned house. And, oh, uh, <laughs> so talk to yeah, us that. a little bit about how Fort Sumner went for you guys and uh, what what the mindset was going in there. You know, uh Fort Sumner just went our way. Uh, I've ranch rodeoed long enough to know that 
sometimes it goes your way and sometimes it doesn't and we drew good and we were we were able to kind of use our you know we were lucky in the draw and we were able to use it and capitalize on that and things just kind of went our way well that's kind of humble of you to say and yes it does kind of the luck of the draw on on some of the cattle you get or the bronc you get that does play into it but uh you guys kind of have a pretty good track record of showing up and, and being somebody to contend with. So we would just want to tell you congratulations for getting qualified. And so now that, that you are you got that ticket to, to Amarillo in November, how does that play into the rest of the year? Are y'all going to kind of sit back and, and just kind of hold on to things? Or are you going to stay out there and stay tuned up? You know, uh, kind of have a new team this year and, and we have a couple of new guys and, and they're excited and they're they're real excited about getting to go to Amarillo already and already being qualified. So I think we're going to go to a few more, you know, just those guys are having fun and they want to they want to go and I think it'll be a good experience for us later on in November at Amarillo. Make sure that you tell Randy that Casey gave him a plug on the radio because I think he's like running around with all these youngins. I don't know. He's probably grouchy. <laughs> okay. He's probably yes, grouchy. Yes, ma'am. I'll, but I'll tell him. If I've been at Fort Sumner when Sand Hill has been there and through the years, and he's exactly right. I mean, some days you just cannot pitch a loop to save your rear end, and you're like right on Johnny on the spot. Everything's set up, and it's just like there's a net. Like it won't, it just bounces off the back of the steer's head or yearling's head or what have you. But I've appreciated Sand Hill as a whole, and 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 Randy and Trip and your family have always been very receptive to those nights at the rodeos when they're doing really good and then those days that you just can't build a loop fast enough to get anything done and it is rodeo right trip i mean it is it, it is. is rodeo that's why the that's what makes it fun is uh you you appreciate when you do win you know because you've been there when you didn't win so it makes when you do win it makes it even sweeter yeah and speaking of sweeter so when they won at fort sumner last time I actually had just given them some beer, root beer, let me might add, <laughs> little eight ounce cans of root beer. So Trip tells me, hey, and Tyler Rice at that time was just drinking it like it was milk or water. And we were all so hot. So at championship this year, I presented him with a half a case of root beer. And it worked out pretty good. You're sweet. <laughs> I am. I, he, that, was our, that was our thing, huh, Trip? That was our thing. Yeah, we're 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 not very big in case you thought we needed a little energy boost, so we all drank a root beer right quick before we went in the cow He's milking. The smallest sippy cup of root beer you've ever seen. <laughs> it's just like little can. <laughs> hey Trip, I'm sitting here looking at the results and uh there's a lot of stuff that jumps out. But stray gathering, you guys just killed it both nights. You know, took first place both nights. Just single out that event. To kind of talk to us a little bit about y'all strategy and why. What what is it about your guys that can just knock that out of the park? You think? Well, once again, part of it is luck, but the other part of it is that's what we do for a living. I mean, we live here in the Texas Panhandle and we run cattle on wheat pasture and and we rope and doctor lots of cattle on a daily basis. So really and truly, that's the one event we're supposed to do good in. And we team rope a little also, so so that sure doesn't hurt anything. Well, we're so proud of you guys and looking forward to, to November. Some folks may and or may not know that Trip is actually a board member for WRCA. Oh, good. He's, he's on our association board. And not only does he compete and, and have the workload on him all year long to run his own place and then, to, you know, to come to championship and be there competing, but he's also, you know, this weekend's coming up in Hugo, Colorado. We've got a board meeting up there. Trip's going to be competing and also oh, attending wow. board yeah. meetings. Man of many hats and really appreciate his involvement helping WRCA be the organization that it is. So on that front, Trip, talk to us, kind of tell people a little bit about what being a part of WRCA, you know, has meant to you these years. You know, uh, it's been a real honor to to be asked to be on the board, and and it's really opened my eyes to, to what the WRCA stands for, and and you know what we're all about, and trying to trying to help the the Cowboys, trying to help each other, and and it's 
you know, it's made me realize the amount of work that goes into producing the, the world championship there and, and keeping everything going all year long. So it's really been good for me, and, and I've kind of tried to tell the other Cowboys, you know, just what all does go on in the in the WRCA and it, it's more than just a rodeo you know there's a there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes yeah and, and that was one of the couple years ago trips huge asset was our voice between us and the contestants and and I think by having him do that that right there having them understand why we do it because we were the world's worst to tell our own story and having an advocate out there you know, it's one thing that we go. It's one thing that we work with some of the guys some of the time. But it's another thing to have the competitor, to have someone to re- relate to. And so uh, at Hugo this year, how are you going to go into that trip? It's into tough. the rodeo? Yeah. Shoot, uh, we're just going to have fun. Uh, yeah, go. We're, we're going to let the, the new guys maybe maybe do a little more, you know, sure. maybe let them rope, sort, and drag caves and, and be a little more involved and me and Randy, the whole guys, are going to kind of sit back and fill in a little bit and, and let them get the experience of doing a little more. Well, I'll have the root beer cold. And the president <laughs> of Sand Hill Cattle Club, or the Sand Hill, let's see, their fan club is Preston Wood. He will be there. Um, yes, ma'am. And, and so you tell Miss Janie and Preston I said hello as well. And I sure will. And we will see you there. Bring a slicker okay. or your sunscreen. It, you know, it's a, it's. You never know what happens. You human. never know. Never know. Never well, we, know. Need a, we need a, we need a, we need a rodeo on Earth. There, there is, a, there is a rodeo. On we need Earth. that one. Yeah. We need to. We need, later. You need to, Craig. You need to come. I to need that. to go to that one. Yeah. 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 Can we have a uh, trip at Earth? Can we have a celebrity <laughs> stray gathering? Craig Vaughn yes, can sir. come down. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, or cow milking might be better. I think so. There you go. That's ca- kind of a calm, you know, good novice entry point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, Start him off I'll get at the hockey pads back out. <laughs> hey Trip, is D Oles your bronc rider? Yes, ma'am. He's uh it's our his first year yeah. to ride the bronc farce and and we're excited to have him, and he's done a really good job so far. Well, he is going to have a smile on his face at Hugo, because they will come on. They'll bring one for him. He'll have fun. He'll tap off just right. Yeah, he'll get to experience the hairy little He'll get to bronze. experience it. Yes, ma'am. Trip, congratulations, buddy. Looking forward to seeing seeing you guys back up in Hugo. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Drive safe and watch thanks, the trip. police. Yeah. Okay, we'll <laughs> see you there. <laughs> When's the one on Earth? When's the rodeo on Earth, Texas? Since we we just yeah, we did we touched August. on it. But it's in August. It's in August. Mm-hmm. All right. Middle September, like the fourteenth. Yes, yeah, September fourteenth. Does uh, does Trip run that rodeo? Do they put it, that he's on? He's on the committee. Yeah, yeah. That was sure. not a that, that was not a sanctioned WRCA one. This oh, it is. Yes, it is a mm-hmm. man. Check my schedule here. It sure again, is. Man. Well, I'll be darned. So. Uh, so has anybody ever won like more than more than one, more than two? Mm-hmm. Anybody it, won in any year? It can year? happen. It can happen. Yeah. Doesn't happen very often, I imagine, because there's so many teams that show it, up. But. It can happen, yes, sir. And, and what just happens is if, say, like if Trip, they're going to Hugo this weekend, Sand Hill is. Right. If they happen to win that rodeo, then you just go to second place. <laughs> okay. And they okay, would get the invitation. The place one. Yeah. Yes, sir. The rodeo yeah. will still honor them as their winners. Right. But on our side, we will take second. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Uh, coming up this weekend, you got one in Hugo, Colorado. Hugo, America. Hugo. How was that one? Is it it's a, awesome. It's a small town. I was Google mapping it earlier when you guys got in the studio, just kind of looking up the town. And, you bet. Uh, of course, most of these, actually, most of the rodeos are in small towns. So, like, we're talking about all the fun stuff that happens in Fort Sumner that go along with the rodeo. So. Well, they have uh, headstone races there, and at Hugo, <laughs> you can play golf. In the street, um, right? Well, yeah, in a pasture golf, <laughs> and the green is really not a green. It's like ground up asphalt. Man, so you take your good clubs. Yeah, you leave them at home. Yeah, they make <laughs> when you golf good there. It really makes you feel like you are somebody. <laughs> Sounds more like a putt putt course. Than oh, like those greens are. Yeah, and the ranch team that I went with, I won't mention their name. He had gotten had elbow surgery, so he still kicked my rear end. <laughs> But, hey, and his one arm was up in a sling, so it worked good. And 120 degrees. So oh, my goodness. Yeah. Colorado Championship has been with us, uh, gosh, I can't lie, but um, over 15, maybe 15-plus 15 years. Uh, I know it's at 15. 
You can see it's old home week there. Oh, cool. Randy Lewis. I like Willie when they do, Lewis. yeah, there's something tied in. For, yes. You just turn into, it's rough if you're if you're not the rodeo person to go to, you know, drive these long distances to see just the rodeo and then turn back around and come home. It's neat when you've got these other things tied oh, in. Oh, absolutely. They do a chuck wagon competition. Oh, cool. They'll do a RHAA ranch horse um, competition. They will do this really neat open bronc riding um and Jeremiah Ward was on their board and helped a lot. And about five years ago, he was killed in a vehicle accident. And so in honor of him, they do a open bronc riding. And, it's be- and so a lot of the guys will buy into that, you know, and compete in that. Yeah. And so there's always something to do. There's a really neat trade show that takes place. And this year, um, Tapatio Annie's, which is TAP, which is a... Oh, Jessica Waite, or Castell, actually, has made up some T-shirts for us um, that she's going to have there with a, commem- uh, what do you say that? Commem- commemorative. Can't commemor- say the word. Commemorative. But of this year's uh, Colorado Championship, yeah, $5 of those T-shirts go back to the crisis fund. Oh, good. good so and, it, and they're really, really neat. Yeah, so. Lehman, you said you had a couple, a couple people to mention. I don't want to let us go without without mentioning. Yeah, kind of bouncing back to Fort Sumner a yeah. little bit. You know, we gave our top three on the overall team awards, but we do have some individual awards that occur at each ranch rodeo. And so we'll recognize uh, Bill Angel from Angel Ranch over in Lovington, New Mexico. He was riding JMP Ethan. That horse was uh, recognized as the AQHA top horse over there. It's a Really, if I could have fit him in my back seat, I would have taken him home with me. (laughs) Really cool bay stallion. Um, By Peptomatic out of LDL Silk Purse. And the breeder of that horse was James Peters out of Edmond, Oklahoma. But Bill Angel at Angel Ranch is the owner and and rode that horse to win the top, top award. And then congratulations out of our second place team. Casey was talking about Clint Jackson and, and his family. Well, Colton Jackson was given the Wrangler Top Hand Award. Oh, cool. At, at the Fort Sumner Ranch Rodeo out of Smith Cattle Company. And young man just did a great job all, all weekend. You know, tough as nails, kind of got banged up first night on the bronc, and you just you wouldn't have known it. Right, He right. stayed hooked and actually ended up and was very helpful to that team uh, to get second place. So congratulations to those guys. And then, of course, we mentioned Sandhill Cattle Company. They were our first place, the Titan Fuel Tanks Team of the Week, uh, with Trip Townsend, Kelton McMillan, Randy Knight, and D. Oles out of Earth, Texas. So that kind of wraps up Fort Sumner. Titan Fuel Tanks. Big thanks to Titan Fuel Tanks. Yeah, we couldn't do all this that WRCA does without the support uh, of the different sponsors and, and individuals that continue to help us do what we do. So, you guys, uh, we're doing all of this to lead up towards the World Championship Ranch Rodeo November 8th through the 11th. Tickets are on sale now, panhandletickets.com. If you need any more information, you can go to our website, wrca.org. But get out there and and got four performances, no matter where you're listening, if you're local or if you want to drive in. I have great accommodations here in Amarillo. Yeah, wonderful you have hotels. No shortage of hotels. No, no <laughs> shortage of hotels. But if you wait until you get to town, yeah, you might have you a will have the trouble because we fill them up. Yep. We yep. fill them up. But yeah, and those tickets are on sale now. I mentioned it yesterday on 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 the air. They went on sale June first, so we're a good two and a half weeks in. And I, I told people yesterday, uh, don't wait. They 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 go. They disappear. They. You know, if you start waiting to, well, I think in September, then maybe we'll go to that that rant. Let's go. Let's, let's make plans to make Friday nights. You know, the eighth or something. You know, nope. You're 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 going to be out of luck. You know, that's true. And the, we were talking in the office the other day, and somebody said, you know, the ranch rodeo that we put on, it's it's more than a rodeo. It's more than a ticket. Right. And that kind of stuck in my head because we'll get into the reason we do this. Well, obviously. Trip mentioned giving back to the Cowboys and their families through our foundation. That's ultimately what we're all trying to accomplish. But if you guys come out to the World Championship, you're going to see real Cowboys yeah. from real ranches yeah. doing the work they do every day. It's the best competition you can see anywhere. And and then top that off with all the activities, Casey, during the day. You know, we've got that 
thing we call the trade show, the vendor show. My Lord, you can't find anything like that anywhere on the planet. Right, just in time for Christmas. I mean, it is just in time for Christmas to go out there to that trade show, and you can find... Well, if you can't find a Christmas present, then you're probably, I don't know... Yeah, you're... <laughs> on the bad list, because yeah. <laughs> there, there's a plethora of things to choose yes, from, yeah. and especially if you make your living, yeah. you know, on the back of a horse, you will need, you will get your tools that you need for everyday use. Yeah, you're right, and especially if if you're in... Like this is your lifestyle, you know what I mean. You'll find stuff, but I think even if you're not, even if it's not your lifestyle, you need to go and check it out. They'll find stuff. Oh, absolutely! I'm always amazed that like there's somebody was selling history books there one year, and I'm like, oh, look at all these cool old history books. I had several relatives who were just into history that would not yeah. have shown up to that event. Well, there's art. Yeah, got some of the best cowboy art that you know Western art anywhere. Uh, there there are shops that are more female oriented for boutiques and clothing mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Jewelry equipment, Casey. If you guys are ranchers out there and are looking for something to help you do your job. We pretty much got everything you need right there in that ranch expo room. Well, yes, and like the, you know, with all the fires, you know, flooding, mm-hmm. depending on where you sit in this big place called Earth, on what devastation you've experienced this year. I mean, you have to replace those tanks. Yeah. You have to replace those pins. And unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. Mm-hmm. To be able to do a good job of management on your ranch, you have to have stuff that is usable. And so we try to make that a one-stop place for them to place their orders, to make their purchases. And it carries them year-round in the sense that after championship, we receive a lot of calls about the sponsors and vendors. And so they'll be doing deals in February. Yeah. Because yep. they saw that individual yep. at the world championship. Yep. And you got to talk to them. You get to talk to somebody like right there from those. Well, it's not on the phone. You usually get to, you know, shake a hand and, you know. Oh, gosh. Whenever you know. Bob Mars and Mr. Cates, you know, when they were still in the show, um, guys would just come and talk mm-hmm. and, and learn about the history part that yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. Sit down with Cecil Blessing Game and sit down with some of these guys, Richard Oliver, and sit with them, and they know the history of why things are made, designed, the way they are to fit where you're from. And that's knowledge that the average person, you cannot buy. That's coming from the authentic builders, the craftsmen of their trade. And when you can sit down and learn what they know, and hold on to it, that's priceless. Yep. And to me, that's worth the rodeo ticket right there. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, and you don't even need a rodeo ticket. No, you go to that not. part. No, you do not. And <laughs> to go to the trade show. We do not have security on those pe- individuals I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tickets are on sale for that, wrca.org. You can go there and get uh, redirected to everywhere where you need to go to find tickets, or you can go to panhandletickets.com. Uh, don't Google them. Don't go Google WRCA World Championship Ranch Rodeo tickets and buy the four hundred dollar tickets. <laughs> <Those. laughs> right. right, yeah. That's, Your best bet, all. as we always yeah. say, go to wrca.org. dot org. Go to the link off yep. of there to Panhandle tickets, yeah. or better yet, just uh, call them or go by. You know, there's lots of ways to do that. Just just come see us. It, it's a good time. A lot of activities going on throughout the day. We talked about the vendor show, but. The other stuff, the Budweiser Clydesdales yep. will be there. Some live and music going on. Live and, music, yep. ranch horse show, youth yep. cow horse championship. Yep. We'll have a nice cowboy church gathering on Sunday mm-hmm. morning. Just just come have a good weekend of fellowship and uh, help us support the working ranch cowboy. That's what it's all about. We will catch you guys next week. We'll get the <laughs> – oh, there's that turkey call. <laughs> hey, hey. Is hey, that the, is that the closing – the new closing theme song? <laughs> I have to keep – I have to get, keep Craig motivated. <laughs> Uh, we'll we'll talk Colorado Championship Ranch Rodeo next week. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Adios.